guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and right now we're at the 2022 Overland Expo West, and we're here with Brian, who is the creative director and media director yep. for Outside Van. Did I get that? Did I get it right? He was perfect. Oh, yeah, and go. thanks for having me. This is great. Yes. And Outside Van, we've actually discovered here at this show. This is our first time. So nice. Yeah, forgive us if we don't know all the stuff that you guys are up to. Oh, for Although, sure. We were talking in the background, and I always tell people, 2019, yep. I went to see my show. How you doing? I saw this van, a uh, Ford Transit van, all-wheel yep. drive, and it had, like, triangular tracks on it. Absolutely. And I fell in love. Yeah, yeah. That's with the Transit. Yep. So you yeah. guys built that. Yeah, yeah. We did a custom build with Ford and Bavorti, mm -hmm. and he's a racer and did his van um, and we were lucky enough to go to uh, SEMA mm -hmm. with them and be on display and look at that. Yeah, it all I mean, everyone out. loves it. Attract, it. Yeah, yeah, I love it that thing. People, yeah. people like you and I mean, it, it was loud. It got yeah. attention. It was a van on tracks. You don't yeah. see that very often. No, so. no. Yeah, I just like anything that's on tracks. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what are you guys building on here and what's the kind of like philosophy about outside van? Absolutely. So yeah. every van you're going to see in our booth is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently only build on that chassis. Okay. Uh, in 2023, we're looking to uh, get back into the transit game. Uh, mm -hmm. They have the all-wheel drive and then also Mercedes is going to be uh, all -wheel drive moving into the all-wheel drive. Yeah, in different engine. Also. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we're excited about that. But you're going to see uh, 144s here. We have a 170 behind me right here. Okay. And we also do 170 extended. Oh, cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. So outside. So everything's Sprinter. Yes, everything's okay. Sprinter right now. And uh, outside van is custom. We. Okay soup to nuts whatever you want okay uh, we tend to be um, the third conversion company or, or you know the people that that do DIYs mm -hmm. they end up coming to us after they figure out what they want to actually do. oh I see yeah like after you've gotten into the game yeah yeah experience because I mean yeah. you could go custom right away right right but you're gonna kind of figure out how yeah. you adventure, what you actually need. Yeah. It's like there's a need and there's a want. Yeah. No, I, I know you exactly know? what you're saying. Yeah, like yeah. I'm on my first van, but I'm always asking myself, how come they don't do this? Yeah. Where's this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, the, the, so eventually, I can see how I can easily do something. Yeah, like that. Yeah. The, yeah. The first question we get is, where's the bathroom? Second question we get is where's the shower? Mm -hmm. um, I need both of those. You need both often. of those. One, yeah, <laughs> humans do. Yeah. yeah well, and once you get into it and and adventure in a van, you realize that that space you think is essential mm -hmm. isn't as essential as, as you think. Right. We tend to do cassette toilets where you can move them out of the van. Right, right. We also do custom uh, showers mm -hmm. uh, in our vans. Uh, we do exterior showers. We do the whole thing. Oh, okay. So, but you would do a regular bathroom if someone required that, or we, you guys. We, we've done it, it but okay. we we kind of advise you away from it because okay. chassis have limited space right and right. so we value every inch like okay. to, to the extreme and okay. so we try to push the bathrooms outside right. in a cassette toilet or something that's removable yeah uh, we do a lot of we call them um, potty boxes where they kind of hide <laughs> they, they hide your toilet right, right, right. Um, yeah but yeah uh, some people like to shower every single night before mm -hmm. bed and and we can do that mm -hmm. um, because not every Everybody wants to shower outside. Yeah. So every van you're going to see in this booth mm -hmm. is custom. It is different. Um, it's all yeah. everything has been engineered separately. It's not okay. like we do a model and that's all we do. Yeah, it is all custom. It's all custom. Yep. Where are you guys based? We are based in Portland, Oregon. Okay, cool. Let's uh, start looking at some vans here. Let's uh, jump into something. I don't know. Pick, what about this one? Yeah, let's this do. This one looks good. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So we. I'm, I'm sensing this will be the thumbnail. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Take a lot of photos of this one. So we yeah. actually are premiering this van at this event okay it, we have we do photo shoots with every single van mm -hmm. um, and this one has not even been launched yet this is like oh, cool. the big pinnacle so I'm glad we came over here first okay uh, this is called tails we mm -hmm. did this van in partnership with Fox lithionics um, oh, okay, Zamp cool. solar we got a bunch of partners on this one nice. and, and developed this van together okay cool this is a, a concept vehicle uh -huh. so this has 10 or more features that currently aren't available to our oh, customers okay so we we put them on a on a van. We test it out. We take it on the road. I mean, we we're we're like 
like two weeks into a road trip right now. Oh, okay. So we're actually testing the products out. out. Oh, cool. And yeah. I like that. The yeah. people who build them should actually drive Use them. Use them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're making sure that that is a proven feature prior mm -hmm. to offering it to a customer. Okay. So cool. when we walk through, I'll point out what those yeah. are, and you can, you'll can you see it. It gets yeah. a little crazy. You mentioned Lithionics. I actually shot a factory tour of Lithionics nice. in Florida. Yeah. I'm from Florida. They're kind of semi-local to, yep. to where I'm at. How many amp hours do you guys have? 945. Boom! Boom! Boom. Lots. All the amp hours. All, yeah. all of the amp hours, but yeah. it also pairs with a secondary alternator okay. and yeah. a 140 watt yeah. ZAMP solar panel. No. So we've got some solar, yeah, we've good. got secondary, yeah. we've got all Well, because there's people who say, oh, you don't need that many, but I, I like having... I like having more than I need when it comes to power. Exactly. Because when you run out, you don't want to be that guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you got solar panels, you've got the alternator, yep. a second alternator in here yep. to help recharge it. Okay, cool. The This uh, vinyl wrap on here, you guys do that stuff in-house? Yeah, so okay. we do um, most of our vinyl wrap in-house. You'll see all these vans over here mm -hmm. that we have our signature topography on there. Okay. Uh, this uh, wrap in particular was mm -hmm. done with our partners at Oregon Design Co. Okay. Uh, they do all of our full wraps. Oh, okay. So this isn't the chassis color. Mm -hmm. It just perfectly matches the wheels. The wheels, that, nice. We wanted yeah. that attention. Some rhino, rhino wheels in here. Yeah, black cool. rhino. They partnered yeah. with us on this build too. Okay. Okay, what do you have here on the on the side steps? Yeah, so all of our metal work we design and fabricate in house oh, okay. okay. at Outside Van because our mm -hmm. vans are custom. We want everything to be oh. dialed in perfectly. Oh, cool. So this is our fixed step uh, because this van has bigger wheels and tires. Has an upgraded suspension from mm -hmm. Agile Off Road, oh, the Rip uh -huh. Kit. Uh, the, the van sits a little bit higher. Yeah, and so, I see the Fox shocks in uh, there. Oh, yeah. absolutely, gotta go Fox. Yep. Uh, we wanted to have that assistant to get in yeah. and out of the van. We also have a uh, step bumper on the back, okay. so you can get in and out of the back also. Okay, cool, yeah. Awesome. So, do you want to? Uh, should we go around the outside and then go in, or yes. jump in? What let's uh, let's start inside yeah, here because because yeah. we're here, and then uh, we'll yeah. go around back, and I can show you. Right. All the, those. I like the finishing on the furniture here. Though. Yeah. See, you want to you want to come in here, Lola? I'll let you and Lola go in, and then I'll be like right here. Absolutely. So, as I mentioned earlier, outside van is completely custom. So, mm -hmm. every inch of this van was completely designed. Uh, for a specific need. Mm -hmm. um, you can even see that there's a little jog to the galley that goes back to give a little, like one more inch to the seating. Uh, uh. Every little detail is thought out. Up top, you're gonna see a microwave. Uh, we just, we went with all the options with this van. So you have your overhead cabinetry, which stores all your goodies. Um, with the laminates that we chose, you even see nice little topography, orange oh, connection. It's all, all about attention to detail and craftsmanship. That's what Outside Van's all about. Okay. So as you move left, you're gonna see our control panel. Uh, up top, you're gonna have our Magnum 2000 watt inverter. Below that, as we mentioned earlier, we're gonna have our Lithionics uh, ion gauge that you can check all your power. I mean, we've been driving this thing around and we haven't taken it below 80%. Really? It's crazy. Yeah, we just have so much power, we don't even know what to do with it. That's so, always good. Yeah, 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 exactly. So then yeah. we have our Wabasto. That is our air top, so that's the cabin heat. And then we have a Rixen heater for the water. Uh, so if you uh, look below here, you're gonna see where our sink uh, is, and that right is hot and cold water. Okay. That is in this location and goes out to our exterior shower out the back. Okay, so is that being heated by the diesel? Yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. Induction stove. Is yep. this like a slide out? No, open. Okay. It's just, yep, swing, um, cool. isotherm, yeah. uh, cabinetry. Okay. Uh, all, how does this all stuff work? Oh. So it's all push lock because as, as you're driving, you don't want your cabinetry right. to fly yeah. open and all your yeah. goodies fly out. That's very cool. And then um, is this like an extra sleeping area, or yeah. lounging area? So the, there are three different modes, I guess. The, the, that's the best way to describe this. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in lounge mode. So okay. this is just a couch mm -hmm. um, with a backer. Uh, what's cool is this bed hinges up and locks into place. Oh, okay. So you have 68 inches from front to back. Mm -hmm. So I can sleep front to back and, and I'm 6'3". Okay. So it fits me perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, this also hinges up, so it fits underneath, and then this turns into a dinette. 
Okay. So you and I can sit face to face and have, and have, have, dinner, have dinner or whatever. Or whatever. Okay. And then there's a lagoon table that, that fits right in the middle. Okay. Um, and then this hinges up, as you can see here. Oh, nice. Okay, I see and what the, you're saying. And then locks yeah. into place, uh, making your full bed. Your full bed. Yeah. And then would your what did you call what did you call that thing a potty? That's a potty box. Potty yep. box. Yep. So this swings okay. open. It's a little hidden. Yeah. You don't want to show everybody where potty you're doing your. your down. Yep. Genetic. Yeah. So that fits in there nicely. That's nice. Yeah. It stows away. Yeah. You know what I like here? I mean, obviously we're not gonna show the the driving side because I mean it's a Sprinter. Yes. Yeah. It's nice and luxurious and filled with awesome gadgets. <laughs> But I really like this blackout, this built-in. Do you guys, I, I see your name on it, so I'm assuming you guys do build this. Here, I'll, I'll show it, Lola. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's oh, I want to cut you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is really cool. There's a lot of attention Tell to me detail. About this. Yeah. Um, I know it may it may come across boring, but. Uh, not to me, not to someone who actually lives in a van. So this you get it, you great. get it. So yeah. this is our soft garage wall. Yeah. Uh, they're all, every single one is different because yeah. every van is custom. Okay. So there's a lot of functionality to this. Mm -hmm. Of course, we get privacy. Right. Um, so if you need to pull over and camp, good to go. However, mm -hmm. there's there uh, this is a climate control feature. Yeah. To be able to to fence this off and mm -hmm. to run your AC. Yeah. To uh, run your heat. Yeah. Create a smaller space that you're Create heating. Create a or smaller cooling. space. Yeah. Exactly. So that it works really well. Yeah. There's a water resistant uh, umbrella fabric on the front and back with okay. an insulating layer in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it actually works really well. Uh, and then we have our overhead cab shelf right above that. Yeah. That uh, is basically just just closes off your, your storage right yourself. Yeah. So. What I really like about it is that you don't have to take the whole thing down. It looks like you could just open this part, go in and out. Exactly. Yeah. Let me actually to. zip it up for you, and I can just show oh, okay. you how it, how it functions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. This is probably the coolest. But obviously, other people do this, but I really this is the most impressive one I've seen. You know. And I look at a lot of this stuff. <laughs> That is awesome. So check that out. You guys can, I didn't know if you were hiding anything back Oh, there. yeah, yeah. We normally you know do, I mean? but... Because I throw all my stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I throw everything in there when... Like, we're, we're camping out over here. We just... This is where you dump... Throw everything on the seats. dumping ground. But, yeah. I mean, so we're in a 144. Yeah. And there's three of us. And yeah. We're, we're, we're chilling comfortably. Yeah. It's, it's cool. No, this is awesome. Uh, you know... And I like that you guys have other built-in stuff like that. You got tracks in here. Yep. You know, but really, I'm very impressed by that. Obviously, you only build this stuff for folks who are getting outside vans, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know how it goes. Yeah, it would be nice to offer everything as, as, a, as yeah. a part, um, yeah. but everything is, is dialed in and yeah, adjusted. Every, we would have to have everything installed yeah. in I mean, house. this is toyed. Yeah, it's very toy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's pretty cool. What kind of AC are you guys so use? So that's a ProAir. <laughs> okay. AC, twenty thousand BTU output. Okay. Um, it, it's it's beefy. It okay. And then max fan. Yep. Very nice. Uh, and then the walls and ceiling are all silver. That's a silicone. Oh. Silicone. Oh uh, yeah. Material. You know, so someone was telling me about that yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's very easy, easy to wipe down. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good feeling. And does that add any kind of insulation as well? So behind the wall, we, we insulate everything. So it's not like okay. the sill leather insulates, mm -hmm. but um, we do uh, insulate behind the walls. The same thing you're going to find in a down jacket. Um, okay. So our, our vans, um, mm -hmm. we do sound dampening. We do infrastructure behind the walls. We're not, we're not mounting everything to the actual van. We're mounting to our infrastructure. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of work put behind the walls that you can't really see mm -hmm. um, that makes your van an outside van. Oh, that cool. We, that we take pride in. Yeah, if you look here, Lola, the, that um, same treatment, that orange, uh, what do you call it again? The sill leather? Sill leather. Yep. Yeah, it goes all the way through here. It looks awesome. Every little detail. Yeah. And what do you have up there? Midland? Uh, yeah, it's a Midland. GMRS? Yep, exactly. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they partnered with us on this build. Oh, cool. Okay. That's a, a nice accessory to have. You could go ham radio, which I actually went ham radio. Mm -hmm. Lola and I became hams. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of this year. But if you do GMRS, 
I think it's now, it used to be 70 bucks, so it's 35 bucks yep. now. Yep. And your whole family could use that. Exactly. And uh, they've got pretty powerful ones. I think Midland has like a 50 watt. Yep. That's yep. It. Yeah. Yep. So really cool. I don't know if that's the one you guys have, but it is. It's really yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah. So we love them. I can imagine traveling without one after yeah. after having one yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, because we're always cruising two to three vans. Yeah, deep you every can time. just communicate. You know, you don't have to call or. Well, that's the thing. We're off grid. Person, they don't have to answer. It's like, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I said go this way. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So here's the business. Yeah. The business where all the so, business happens. So, like I mentioned, mobile uh, <laughs> bike mechanic station. Right. This now it makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So two full-size bikes can fit back here, yep, right? Yep, yep. So this is our gear glider. Uh, we mm -hmm. don't call it a bike tray or anything like that. It's a okay. gear glider because it okay. doesn't just fit mm -hmm. bikes. You can put um, anything you want here. Uh, it even has a drain. Everything okay. is shaped so you can just wash it You're out washing the it bike drains. Right. It's got attachment points on the mm -hmm. side so you can strap your, your boxes down, your yeah. There's, and there's quite a lot of room back here if you want to get in there. Tons of room. All the, I like the uh, floor treatment here that you guys have on this. Yep. As that's, well. Uh, that's the long ridge. So that's the, it's the floor. It's the uh, has the highest traction rating mm -hmm. right now. So we did a lot of long ridge and we yeah. uh, roll that up into our boxes. It just yeah. looks seamless. Really nice. And then if you uh, well, if you look on the left there on this box right here. You're going to see some Molly panels. Mm -hmm. You do not see that very often connected to L-Track there. Uh, that is a new uh, oh, that's product. Right. Oh, and we're going to yeah. start offering that on that. Molly so panels are so cool, man. Aren't they? Yeah. I'm, I'm a complete believer in that, you know. Obviously, coming from like a military purpose, mm -hmm. but you know, just there's organization. lots of things you can do with them. Yeah. You have, I mean, as you know, vans have limited space, so being able to keep organized is needed. Big deal. You know? <laughs> most important yeah so just starting there on the right yeah. side you can see the molly panel set up there right yeah that one in there looks has an axe that's got a shovel yep and other things and so then you've got your tool roll. you've got your uh, park tool here and we did a extra uh, plate there just to add a little bit of rigidity to it, which you, you're not going to see that very often because okay. you don't want to just mount into the actual structure because yeah. that'll rip out right. um, a nice little tool roll to go yep. with the theme that's of the build nice That's another thing I'm kind of hunting for, a nice tool row. Yeah. 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 So we got really those on both important. sides. That way yeah. uh -huh. I could be tuning my bike over here. Right. You could be working over here. Yeah. Which actually takes us to this side. Yeah. Which, um, excuse, this? excuse the dust. I know you guys have. Oh, it's. You, were you here yesterday? Yes. It's crazy <laughs> dusty. Yeah. So this is our new bike tray. It doesn't look new because it's so dusty. Right. But uh, <laughs> this shows the attention to detail that outside van and our engineers um, mm -hmm. put into every product. Mm -hmm. um, I came up with the idea of just like a tray to put tools and then they're like, let's take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So what was cool is they're, you know, they're like, okay, so the door doesn't pivot totally parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's just something that a van nerd would know. Yeah. So it goes up a little bit. Yeah. So you're never gonna have a table mm -hmm. that is that is level. Mm -hmm. So you've got the ability to level it here, which is awesome. You have the ability to level it, and you have your so your cool. little right. yeah. level yeah. there. Yeah. Dial it in. All your tools are level. Yeah, perfect level. Perfect. No, that's good. Cool. That's actually really is a, that really yeah good yeah idea. inside. Yeah. yeah, it is. And then it, so this folds up, right? It folds up. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on here, but yeah. there's uh there's Molly. And then you got more here. Molly on yeah. here. Yeah, that's really cool. Hound dogs, you know. Those beagles, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when you miniaturize a hound dog. You <laughs> so yeah, and then you have another another tool roll over here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's why we call Tails the ultimate bike mechanic station. Yeah, very cool. So Tails because is it Tails or Trails? Tails. Tails. So is it because of the tail end of the van or? Well. What is it? What we, are we doing a double entendre we, here. We are under the Fox Factory umbrella. Uh huh. Okay. Fox tail. Triple on. Yeah. Fox tail. And tail of partnership the with them, and it's yeah. called tails. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. So it has a couple different. <laughs> right. I like it. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. Where Where did these lights come from? So this is all rigid. So all of our uh, exterior lighting is through rigid. Uh, okay. This is the one by two scene lights that we normally do on the exterior of the van. Okay. They're extremely bright. Okay. Um, but we wanted to be able to light up the whole space mm -hmm. uh, if you're 
working on bikes at night or yeah, whatever. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you never know when you've got to repair something. Exactly. Whatever, so, yeah, no, this is this is cool. I like this. Let's see, we're walking around here. So your your rack up there and uh, even this ladder here, which is really nice, this is all stuff you guys made? All at Outside Man. Oh, okay, cool. Yep, so I this like is our, this. Yeah, this is our utility ladder. <laughs> we have one on the side and one on the back. Uh, they have our Grimple plates on the top here, which you can actually unscrew these and, and flip them over. So what is a Grimple plate? Is that just for traction? Traction. Okay, because I saw this on the side steps. Yep, yep. Yeah, we okay. just want to have max traction. Uh, okay. You don't want to be walking up here in a bare, with bare feet. Uh, so you can actually flip those over uh, for those that, people that like to surf or whatever, just barefoot all the time, those flip over. Okay. Uh, and then you have your l track on the outside. Um, that way you can mount hooks, you can mount anything, yeah, accessories, whatever sweet. you want. Yeah. Yep. That's always extra use for this. Okay. Uh, dude, there you guys are. <laughs> um, so, no, that's really cool. I really like that. So, you do you have a gray tank here? Black tank? What is that? That's gray a great. That's a gray tank. Okay, cool. Yep, we don't do black water in outside van. Uh -huh. Being, <laughs> I have experience with RVs and stuff. <laughs> It's a, it's a messy situation. So uh -oh. we kind of stay away from that and direct people towards a cassette toilet. Okay, yeah. understood. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Oh yeah, and there's another, you've got another setup like that yep. over here too. Yeah, so. so on this van on tails, we actually have two rear ladders. So you can fit- Oh, so there's one on the Yeah, other. you can okay. fit four bikes on the outside and two on the inside. Okay. So you can actually cruise around with six bikes on this thing. Nice. So you can use it as like a- Yeah. Mobile all bike mover. All, all of the bikes. All, of the, all bikes. the bikes and all the power. Yeah. So here's all the guys involved, right? Yep. Fox, Those Black all, Rhino, all Lithionics, yep. Zamp Solar, Midland. There you go. What is, so, you know, when you came up with, with this, the color scheme and everything, what was the theme of that? Just like a desert kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the actual chassis color, let's see if this is open, mm -hmm. is stone gray. You can see it right here. Oh, okay. So it is a little off from yeah, it's, yeah. from here, but yeah. it still works. Mm -hmm. um, when it came to colors, you know, we wanted to, to stick with that orange theme, mm -hmm. um, orange, black, grays. But then mm -hmm. I was like, you know, what what chassis color we're we gonna roll with on this one? So mm -hmm. we wanted the stone gray, and then uh, and then black rhino mm -hmm. worked with us to, to get us those uh, the the desert uh, yeah. desert sand. I think the colorway is. Is that that's out that color? Yeah. Oh, okay. So those are Yellowstone uh, wheels oh, okay. uh, from Black Rhino. And yeah, this that, is my first time seeing it. Yeah, okay. you don't see them very seeing often. Seeing this color, yeah. The, the thing is, most people go with black or right. or or uh, like gunmetal. Yeah. And uh, now bronze is really popular. Right. Yeah. You don't see that very often. So that actually that's drove cool. the color for this one. Yeah, and that's like a flat dark earth even. Yep. You know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So it's a little bit different, but it gets right. attention. That's the whole point of this build. Yeah. You got the uh, lights up here, rigid. Yep. Yeah. Very so we've cool. got. Uh, two, uh, dual six inch fog lights oh, okay. here. Then you move up to our ditch lights, which we have two by twos. Mm -hmm. And then we have the 50 inch rigid light bar mm -hmm. up top. With this that whole nice safari rack. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, I know that since you guys are doing custom builds, obviously prices and all that kind of stuff vary. But let's say, you know, someone wanted you guys to build another one of these. Yeah. What ballpark are we going to be in? Yeah, so, so this build right here, including chassis, mm -hmm. is at 270. Okay. Um, the reason why it's so high is mm -hmm. because there's a lot of the R&D products that we were talking yeah. about. And yeah. those take a little bit more time mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. expense. So if we're going to reproduce this, uh, the price pro price point would be yeah. a little bit lower. Um, okay. But as you're seeing it right now, 270 270 yep. oh, Okay. Okay. Very cool. All right. Let's take a look at some other stuff that yeah. we've got here. Um, do you guys do trailers or this trailer is just for you all? We for the do. Show? We do not. The, uh, this is just for the show. This mm -hmm. is the marketing team takes this uh, trailer around. Mm -hmm. On the inside, it's just our stuff. Is that is all the swag in there? All the all. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So just we just we, 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 no. yeah. <laughs> we store everything there. You know, we're doing giveaways at this event, so all cool. those are in there. And then yeah. um, the pop up yeah. tent from from Free Spirit allows another oh, okay. uh, marketing employee to uh, sleep up there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, because we. Oh, so you guys are camping here? Yeah, well, not this event, but most events oh, okay. we actually camp, and we're—I mean, right. we're on the road, so it's another. Yeah. Everybody has their own spot. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. So, so this is Stingray. Uh, mm -hmm. Tails was uh, 2,500, mm -hmm. um, 144. Mm -hmm. Stingray is a 3,500, mm -hmm. 170. 170. Yep. Okay. So 3,500 means it's a dually. Okay. So you're gonna have a higher towing capacity. Uh, mm -hmm. Your GVWR is gonna be a little bit higher. Okay. Um, so yeah. And it's can, also a four by four, right? It is. Okay. Every van you're seeing here is diesel four by four. That's what you guys do. That's what we do. Okay, cool. If someone wants a two wheel drive, we can do it. We have. Why would you? <laughs> At this price point. Why would you want might, it? Might as, <laughs> might as well do it, right? Yeah. Go four by four. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to take a quick look at that, Lola? Yeah. Or, or we can go in this way, but let's see. So if I'm if I'm customizing, can I get my bumper to say whatever I want, or can I only get it to say outside van? You can only get it to say outside van. Okay. Anything you want, as long as it spells outside van. There we go with the bumper. Yeah, yeah. we there are limits to the, the customization. Custom, customization. Okay. But, Understood. But I mean, we've done custom name plates on the cabinetry. Okay. We, with all the the laminates, all the materials, the, the cushions, everything is custom. Yeah. What do we look at back here before we go in? Yeah. So this van right here, well, Stingray, um, it's in lounge mode right now. Lounge but mode. Okay. This van can haul uh, four people. Okay. Uh, seat comfortably, and this folds over. Mm -hmm. to create a uh, clean bed underneath mm -hmm. and then a, a little bit smaller uh, up, okay. up top. So these window treatments, do they come out or are these permanently in? Those are permanent, yeah. Okay. So that we there wasn't a window on this chassis and so oh. those are our stuff sacks on the okay. back. Okay, so there are lights up here and I know there's a camera, but is that only when you're backing up? Can you, like, so let's say you can't see through here. Can yes. you get that to show you what's going on behind you yeah. all the time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That'll be cool, especially when you're, uh, you know, when you're towing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Cool. Can we go in? Absolutely. Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> Every van here, you're gonna see with air compressor with multiple different locations. Oh, so even this would have an air compressor yep. on yep. it. Oh, cool. Exactly. Just for cleaning. Um, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. For yeah. airing up your tires, everything. Yeah. So, do you have access points to that just here, or multiple points around the? So van? there's one here. There's one underneath the hood, and okay. then there's one underneath the, the rear bumper. In the back. Oh. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is Stingray. We can look at the exterior to start. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's a 3500 uh, chassis, four wheel drive diesel. Mm -hmm. um, on the exterior here, we went with upgraded uh, method wheels. Okay. Uh, very nice. Stingray is part of our uh, peak program. Mm -hmm. So this is completely custom for the customer. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I like these methods. I actually have these. Nice. On my van. Yeah, they're very great. Nice. Yep. So lighting on the front, we've got the six inch uh, fog lights, we've got the rigid ditch mm -hmm. lights, mm -hmm. um, and then a new rigid light bar, because oh, that is our- than that other one. That is a brand new yeah. uh, combo rack, it's called the LP. Okay. Uh, it's the low profile, and um, outside van's look isn't big and boisterous, mm -hmm. it is sleek and sexy. Oh, That's okay. how we kind of- So yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't notice any big like, uh, um, bumpers or anything that's like that. That's not us. Oh, okay. Sometimes we do the big look, I mean, okay. because we are custom, and if that's what people right, want, right. That's, if that's, that's, what, that's okay. great. Right, right, when right, it comes right. to our metal work, yeah, mm -hmm. we keep it clean. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go inside. So, Lola, before you jump in, you're gonna see that there's uh, seating for three. Here's your seating for four. Uh, that's where that mount is that I was talking about earlier. Oh, cool. That's where yeah. that's where the seat goes. Mm -hmm. um, Normally we would have four in here, but we want to be able to show that capability of modifying your van to how many people are traveling in okay. it. Okay, and so if you take the seats out, do you guys have other things that can go in place of the seats? Yeah, so if you take that seat out, we have a bench that fits mm -hmm. right in there. Um, so if you're just, if it's the two of you guys traveling, mm -hmm. right? You have um, a bench location to sit, have coffee in their storage underneath. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, you know, it's a transformer. It, oh, cool. it, it modifies yeah, per your, your adventure. Yeah. All right, once again, the divider is here. Yep. Yeah, and this is a bigger pizza oven. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, I, you know. Can I, I copyright stole that? that? You can't. You can if you want to. <laughs> I stole that from someone else. But oh, okay. It makes sense. You know, you, the reason why is up here it tends to get really hot. It does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good storage. I, I use it. 
in mind all the time. Yeah. So just like some of the, uh, some of the other bands you saw, um, overhead speakers. cabinetry, um, mm -hmm. galley, a lot of the same features, but mm -hmm. you know we have a lot more room because we're in a 170. Yeah. So and then even I'm back, stealing your stickers. Oh, they, they, it's not stealing. I'll, I'll give you all. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I'll just write Stranger Palooza. There we go. Back here, you're gonna see this hinged bed system. Again, okay. Again, um, which is similar. Yeah, yeah. Which just makes the space seem gigantic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This hinges up, and you have your queen size bed underneath, mm -hmm. and a little bit smaller due to the the wall taper up mm -hmm. top. So um, my family has traveled in here, and everybody fit fit well. Okay. This is cool. So this this bed hinges up like we saw in the yep. other one, and then I think this goes further back. It does. Yeah. yeah. This this is a queen From size bed saw, yeah. down here. Yeah. So and then uh, you got lots of hooks in here. Yeah. <laughs> this, which there uh, there are a lot. For that. <laughs> yeah, it's great to just be able to hang. So what do you guys have to hang off of these? You've got bags. What what? Bags, coats. Um, the reason all those hooks are there is because my wife likes to hang things on walls, mm -hmm. and so she put all those yeah, up. Everything and should be hung up. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's actually from her. <laughs> With her. Oh, okay. It's a great way to organize. Right. I never took those. Your down. wife is a genius. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so is it the same kind of uh, AC it's system the in here? Same AC unit. Yep. Okay, very cool. And then, uh, and then the. Uh, Flex, no, what is it? Sill leather. Sill leather. Sill yep. leather. Sill leather. Which I like this one. There. So what kind of what kind of options do you guys have? Is it unlimited for what you do with the roof? Yeah, yeah. So you can go with interweave. You can go with sill leather. When, whenever, like with colors, you can. Mm -hmm. You have so many options. Can I do Can I do patterns up there? Um, if it's offered. Uh, from okay. Sill Leather or if oh, it's an interweave okay, it's that's offered. In it's like that. whatever yeah. the, the brand uh, has, have, we can do it. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is Trillium. This is part of our Fusion program, which you can go on OutsideVan.com and you can actually build out a van mm -hmm. on our website, mm -hmm. get pricing, and actually get a render uh, so you have a, a visual for what the van's going to look like. Uh, do you have to put down a deposit and all that? To no, do it? it's just a so you fun can just little go there and mess to go around. There. Yep. Oh, I'm going to have to try that yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so that's ca ca almost not a, I don't want to say universal system, but you've kind of got all the pieces there so exactly. someone could design and build faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there are some things that are predetermined. So, mm -hmm. like windows, window mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. um, where the seating is mounted. It's it's all those details that you, that okay. take the crazy detail oriented decisions that you need to make mm -hmm. out of our peak program right and make it a little bit easier where you can go in you can say I need seating for four. I right. I want a galley kitchen with hot water. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you can choose your colorways and then mm -hmm. you have a onslaught of of custom options like mm -hmm. microwave out, like wheel upgrade all sorts of lighting you can add oh, cool. it's like think of it as a chipotle menu yeah so it's still it's really customizable it's still really it. custom yeah because yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know there's a lot of stuff you can't do yeah yeah we just wanted yeah. to make that whole process a okay. little bit easier and so you still you still get uh the same or somewhat similar uh divider here between driving yep. and uh, yeah so that's living. one of the, that's one of the options mm -hmm. and so um obviously this is a show vehicle so mm -hmm. you've added pretty much everything um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it has that that soft garage wall there mm -hmm. and microwave and all the lights on the outside. Yeah. Do you want to go in here, Lola? I like how there's a light up there right above the pizza oven, so you can actually see what's in there. Pizza oven. I like that. It's a good way to describe it. This little shelf. Yeah. That shelf. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to go in? I'm right behind you. Yeah. So in here, this this looks uh, somewhat similar to what we saw. Yes. Um, in the trails, except obviously, you know, you don't have furniture here. You've got two seats, right? Exactly. So two back there and two here that buckle. Exactly. What is cool okay. about this uh, is this is a hinged bed system. Okay. So this flips. Oh, okay. So similar hinged bed. And goes back. Come on, mattress. Come on. <laughs> it's good enough. I get it. <laughs> so. And this is adjustable height lagoon yep. table here. Right? Yeah, and so you have your DOT approved mm -hmm. seating and the headrests are up there. But you toss those on here, your kids or whatever mm -hmm. can ride back here all mm -hmm. seated 
Um, and then this uh, seating is actually removable, mm -hmm. and so they're flush mount um, bases. So I, you give me five minutes, I can take these all out, put them in my garage. Mm -hmm. It's just my wife and I going, toss a toss a rug over that, and I have a whole van with all sorts of storage. Yeah, or if you're doing something else, you need a lot of space, you could just do it. Exactly. You've got options here, because I know in the other one there were bags. Yes. And here's like an open kind of storage. Yeah, that's our as well as like a regular thing. That's here. our exo cabinet yeah. uh, there mm -hmm. that you're looking at that is more open. You just mm -hmm. kind of toss stuff in there, and then our cabinetry over here, just right. like you saw over in Tails. Yeah. If you could uh, sneak peek of what's in there. So, so in this one, where's the where's the, the bathroom in this one? There's no bathroom in this one here. No. Okay, so there's no bathroom yeah. in this one. There's no bathroom okay. in this one. This one would be one that you... Uh, and that's a standard thing, right? So yep. when you're choosing those options. So with something like this, what price category is it going to be So roughly? this one is at 230 230 okay. Yep. Okay. And that okay. includes the chassis. I mean, we're, start, right. we're yeah. starting with a, a yeah. brand nice. new vehicle. Yeah. So. I think these vehicles, depending on what features you get, what are they, like 60, 70? Yes. Kind of, uh, kind of between 60 and 80 yeah. um, with all the different features. Right. And, yeah. So there's a lot the of a lot of storage in, in this one. You're gonna see some of the uh, some of our standard features, which are the uh, stuff sacks here on the back. Yeah. Um, we've got power over here in this box, which is another lithionic mm -hmm. system. It's a little bit smaller. Oh, cool. Than tails. Okay. You guys do mostly lithionics or all lithionics? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, we do rely on also, oh, but okay. you're gonna see pretty much all lithium throughout. Mm -hmm outside bands portfolio right okay and you know we were talking about the toilet you could like cassette toilets you can always buy them separately right there. Yeah, yeah you could do what you need to do put it behind a tree yeah, yeah. right you know or you know the old school toilet is just a shovel just a shovel that's all you need <laughs> some toilet paper too yeah right? some leaves <laughs> not poison no i think there's a special rock yeah. that you can i've heard that the spec ops guys yeah use i don't know i've never tried it myself um, <laughs> and, then, and then we've got a 19 yeah. gallon water tank over oh, here okay and this is that exterior shower that i was referring mm -hmm. to earlier okay. with. does this have this this has an awning this has an awning that's on the, mounted on over that side, yep, yeah. on the passenger okay, side. Okay, yeah, I see the, the hand crank yep. for it. Okay, cool. With the exterior shower, is there a curtain? There, you, you can get that option. That's an accessory that you can purchase. Okay. And then it hooks to the doors. Yeah, always bags. These bags are cool. Yep. And uh, there's a little bit of a of a vinyl on this. Not a not a big one, but you've got vinyl in there. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so the bottom, the the lower panel here is mm -hmm. all blacked out. We have our flare area, mm -hmm. um, has our signature topography in there, and then the back. So I mean, this is this has function to it. Obviously, yeah. it looks cool. Yeah. But and has branding, but yeah. it actually protects the vehicle too. Right. And then there is some. Uh, there are, there's still rim options with this too. Yes. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You have two different options. Uh, the Warlord is one of our favorites. Just clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also went with the Agile uh, Off-Road Rip Kit, the right improvement package. Oh, okay, I was just going to ask you what you guys uh, do in here, right? Yep. Looks like, did you put extra leaf springs in there? Yes, or? yeah, so, okay. the, so they take the weight of the vehicle mm -hmm. and where the weight distribution is, mm -hmm. and they dial, dial in the perfect ride. Oh, cool. Awesome. Very nice. And uh, then I see there's a, what is that? We, we boost. We boost on here too. Yeah, so it's not so guys, internet, it's a signal booster. For the cell phone. Yes. Get you up like a bar or something. Yeah, yeah, you get a, yeah. you get a little bit better, right. like two bars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, but, cool. Yeah, but when you're, you know, when you're almost off grid or in a pretty yeah, remote if, location, listen, it actually yeah. works pretty well. Yeah, if you can get a phone call out. But, and then, it, but then again, they can always go with like the Midland GMRS option or something like that. Mm, that and you there guys are have. Uh, or, internet options that we are currently looking at. Oh, you are okay. Um, yeah, that give you the full internet capabilities straight from your van. We have a lot of customers that um, work out of their vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, an example, one of our customers is um, a software engineer, mm -hmm. but he also owns a surfing company. Mm -hmm. And so what he does is he goes to the beach, works, takes calls in his van. And then he literally just jumps out and goes surfing. Right, nice. <laughs> it's just like perfect. That's what the a life. lifestyle, right? <laughs> yeah. Brian, thank you very much. That was awesome. Yeah, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Uh, I, for the folks out there, if they want to know more about outside vans, what do they do? Go to outsidevan.com. 
and we have hundreds and hundreds of van galleries on there. You can mm -hmm. go out and you can check it out. Uh, you can build a fusion van on yeah, our website. Yeah, you can build your own. You can even just give us a call. We right. just like talking about vans, just like we're doing right okay. now. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. Thank you. See Appreciate you in the it. Next one. Enjoy All right, the guys. Show. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Outside vans. Very cool. We're at the 2022 Overland Expo West. See you in the next one. Peace. Guys, I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one.